Hi, you guys. It's me, Elena. Hope everyone's having uh, a great Saturday over here in California. OMG, it's probably, I say, about 90 degrees, I'm thinking. Um, so I have the air on, I have the fans rotating, and then, of course, I need to have a drink. <laughs> So, as you guys can see in the background, it's about time. <laughs> I've been swapped with projects, pocket letters, you know, different stuff that I have been working on. And not only that, my life, you know, uh, above, you know, the media and all that stuff. I do things outside of that, which, you know, um, I have to take care of things, and then I have doctor's appointments, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so, um, I know it's been quite a delay of this cake box, and I think I have a tutorial something. Um, I know I have two of them, so that I have to do. So... But this is going to be um, the cake box, you guys. So, um, I know it's been a while since um, I did a, a video. And um, I've had a lot of um, uh, Instagram requests to follow me. I did approve um, some of them because some were kind of like odd. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for following me. I so appreciate it. That's where you'll catch me on there, my posts, what I've been up to, um, what I'm working on. Um, if I'm out and about and I like to post different pictures. So... Um, so anyways, um, so this is going to be about the cake box and how you try to deal with mistakes and not just mistakes. Um, how do you deal with when you go with one theme and then suddenly you change your mind? How do you fix it when it's already been done? And, um... If you're um, a crafter as like me, you'll try to figure out a way. It's like if you um, write something down and um, you didn't like how it came out. You either put a sticker over it, you start it over. And if you're doing it with a pencil, you just erase it. So I know it's not the same thing, but I want to show you how I do, how you say, it, how I try to either change the style or sometimes you just have one of those um, mistakes that you want to fix, right? So this is what this is about and then to work on this with you guys. So this is the cake box that I did a while ago you guys know that it's been a while so I do apologize for that and I have got your messages so here we go so um so my thing is I want to go with a different style yes I changed my mind <laughs> and I know you're probably thinking yeah but it looks nice you already did that and you gotta start all over no I don't have to start all over so this is what I want. So I want to go with more of a floral design. Of course, I love that design. I'm leaving that on there. I love that. So I want to go with more like a floral design around here. Yes, this is a floral, but I want to go with the more like a summer pink and stuff like that. And excuse my nails. I haven't fixed them, but... I'm doing this and I'm like, I am not going to fix them when I know they're going to get all messed up. So, this paper, as everybody knows, it's at Michael's in the $1.50 spot. And uh, so, 
I want to use this paper. I love this paper. So um, I got this a while back. So what I did, I wrinkled it up. I spray some of this. I use this for everything. I use it for my flowers. Whatever mixed media or whatever I'm doing, I use this just for my craft stuff. So I wrinkled it up and I sprayed it. And as you can tell, it's all wrinkled up. And so I went like this. This is how I do it. Went like that. If you're going for that wrinkle type texture, you spray it just a little bit, not too much. Now, if you're a crafter, you know, you know this technique already. But if you're new, then this is something that you can learn about. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to cover from right here to all the way across. Why, you say? Because when this closes, you don't want the paper getting stuck. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover it, and I am going to make all of the colors go with it, like kind of blend in. So it's going to go from right here to right here. So I cut some strips already. I'm going with this. See that, how that color looks? And this paper is like glossy, so it's perfect. That's how I want it. I want that wrinkle kind of texture. And then, um, this, I call this my palette. <laughs> I use my paints. I use my Mod Podge, everything. So, and I have a bunch of these from Dollar, I mean, can't even talk, <laughs> Dollar Tree, when they first came out with these. And let me tell you, my family were buying these like crazy and giving them to me. They would give me five, six, let's just say I'm stocked up. <laughs> so, so let's do this. And let me get my brush here. Now you can use any brush you want. I tend to go with the a Pisces bristle brush I use this one for my Mod Podge a lot and I love how it just um, grabs the glue right away so I'm turning it this way and it's gonna go about right here see that and look at that color look how nice this paper already has teal on it so it's gonna go perfect with this color yeah, I know this color, but I just love all the floral colors, so I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. So, we're going to just pour a little at a time. Just so I get all the areas and it sticks little by little. And then I have the fans going because it's really hot. And I don't want it all to glue right away when I haven't even got to it yet. So we're just going to line it up. Oops. Okay, I probably... Hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. I am so tired. <laughs> I mean, a good tired, and I am, I thought I'd take this Saturday to work on all my projects, well, some anyhow, so I can get some of this stuff done, because some, during the week, it's so hard for me to do that, it's hard to do it during the week, because I have, like, other stuff that I do, and then, um, if, I know some of you are following me on Periscope, so thank you for following me. And also, I have new ones that um, have joined my YouTube family. So we got some Periscope people that joined my YouTube. And um, so thank you for joining us. 
and this is so awesome look at how nice that looks now you can't tell me that doesn't blend in I don't know I like it remember you always got to make what you like it's your style and this is definitely my style because it's it has Elena all over it <laughs> So the bottom right here, you're not going to worry about that. Just going to cover that up. I got this other, I had already cut the strips ahead of time. I have all my stuff all over the place. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I have like all this stuff here. This is just in my stash. I have, man, I can't even tell you. I have so much lace in my, um, in my stash. Oh my gosh. Let's see. So I'm going to use another piece here. So I'm going to cut that. It's really beautiful outside. It's just too hot. Let's see. And I had, I just got done doing a, a swap, and I had a friend, she also watches, well, yeah, because we swapped, right? And uh, she's from Hawaii, and she has sent me some of that pancake mix, it's like uh, banana and macadamia nut. Ooh boy it is delicious oh my gosh i wish i like had 10 of those it comes in a small package but they were really good i had a kind of like a late brunch but it was so good you guys let me see how i can um I'm looking at the time, so I'm going to try to do this in sections, whatever. Um, let me get all this stuff. Sometimes you get stuff that gets stuck. Can you see that? Sometimes you have that. Okay. So where am I here? So I'm going to add some more glue there. And my CD just decided to scratch. Okay, hold on you guys. Give me a minute here. Let me try to fix this. You guys know I got to have my music. Okay. I love to craft and I love to hear music. I've always been like that. I love all kinds of music. And I love, as much as I can, I love spending time in my craft space. It's just so fun to craft and to create something. I was going to have, uh, well, actually, I had plans for my family to come out today to go swimming. But um, we canceled them, so it was my chance to, you know, catch up on a couple things. So, look at that, how nice that came out. And it's going to look so nice when it's done. Look at that. So, I'm going to let that dry for a bit. And then we're going to start the smaller one. It's this one right here. Of course, it's... That got a little stuck there so what I'm going to do I am going to put the paper from right here I'm not going to cover all this only because I don't want it to get stuck 
because it gets stuck sometimes especially because of the um of course i need to sand it a little bit more all on the inside but i will do that later so let's cut some of that so we can and then i have uh i'm going to try maybe um i don't know if i'll do it over the weekend maybe um i have a small haul from daiso and um what else oh and dollar tree yeah i forgot a minute i was like what what did i get i don't remember okay let's see here you guys so it's gonna go like right there i'm gonna try to match it so it doesn't pass yeah so about right there okay you guys that's where it's gonna go and i'm gonna cut it just a little bit just so i don't have too much hanging out and and then the last one that um i have is this one here that would be the last one and once um i have that i will glue it down well, it'll be glued down I'm just having my heat gun heating so when I'm ready to use it I can I got the big one you know the big one that doesn't need to be plugged in but I like working with the little one it's just uh, I have more space in here okay now it is gonna go like that See how cool that looks? I'm loving this paper. So I'm going to be doing stuff in sections. So what I'm going to do is um, I am. Well, let me go ahead and just finish this, you guys. And I am going to end this video. Then I'll come back. And we'll start the decorating. That's going to be the fun part. I love decorating. Especially when you're adding flowers and all that. And I'll have a little tutorial for you guys. It's going to be a really quick one. And I'm just going to prepare it. And just have everything ready so when um so it'll be like real quick just so i can have that and um if you want to learn or something that you're thinking about and you say you always wonder well how is that done you know or even wondering how i do mine so that's why i'm doing this i guess you can call it series i'll probably call it series maybe so yeah that is pretty good I love this color oh my god as soon as I saw it at Michael's I'm like oh my god now I gotta change the color but actually I didn't change it too much you guys all I did is just added some in and it would go perfect with all the colors so it pretty much went with my theme so look at that i'm loving it you guys so then this one i'm thinking because this is going to go on top it's going to go on top so um i'm thinking if i should add some on top or in here because i still don't know what i'm going to do yet i don't know if i'm going to cover it or what but you know what? I'm just going to cover it. Just in case. So maybe 
I don't know if I should do a big piece or a small piece. These videos are going to be long, just so you know. But it's something that, this is a process. I cannot work like fast. And I actually was going to do this on Periscope. But it's hard to catch all the comments and stuff like that. So YouTube, of course, it works better for me. Especially when I'm like uh, working on stuff. And, um, and that's okay because um, everybody that wants to see it can come on here and watch me. Um, Look at how pretty that looks. Okay, I'm going to do this. I wasn't sure if I was, but I'm glad I am. So you can cover that. And I don't know how many things that I've uh, altered. But as soon as I um, found out when I came to YouTube altering things I was like whoa everybody does it I thought I was the only weird one that likes to alter things every time I see something plain I just gotta throw something on it see how nice that looks so I'm gonna finish this up get them ready and then I'll come back and then we'll do the decorating and a short um, tutorial. And let's see what I can come up with, you guys. Okay? So I will be back. And um, make sure you come back to check out um, the other video. So thank you guys so much for um, sticking with me and watching my videos. Please don't forget to comment since I enjoy reading all your comments. Um, maybe not right away, but I usually get back to all my comments. I love answering and just communicating with you guys. So I will talk to you soon, you guys. Bye.